tab will bring up the newest Star Wars Galaxy box. This is going to be, should be the fourth quarter box. I know a lot of subscription boxes are months and months and months behind. So this should be the fourth quarter box. I could be wrong. But the Star Wars Galaxy box is sold by the company Culture Fly. And I pretty much, they charge me every quarter. I think it's like 50 bucks or so. And this is obviously completely Star Wars themed. So if you're not a Star Wars fan, I would not recommend this box. And if you're a Star Wars fan, you get some cool stuff in here. There's been a few months where the value was kind of lacking, but you can usually find something in each box you're going to like. So just to be upfront, I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. Do I enjoy Star Wars? Parts of it, some of it. The last three movies, they don't exist in my world. I'm a four, five, and six fan, and you know, one, two, and three, they were good for what they were. I might name some things incorrectly, I might get some characters wrong, and if I do, that is A-OK, -okay because why? I'm not a professional whatever box reviewer guy. I'm not a Star Wars YouTube channel. I mean, if I was like a Star Wars YouTube channel, and if I didn't know everything about everything to do with Star Wars, then that would be an issue, you know? But here, here's the box. We got the Millennium Falcon, and it is flying out of that, um, oh, what's that thing called? That was, uh, was that, that was in part, that was, was that an empire? Or is that a, in Return of the Jedi? Was that Empire? I, might have been, I, I can't remember. Was it Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi? Anyway. But yeah, here's the box. Side, soid, soid. The back. And of course the front. Here we go, you ready to do this? Let's see what we got. Empire Strikes Back, right? Here we go, first thing. It doesn't honestly matter. Oh, we have an, uh, an oven mitt. The Exogorth oven mitt. So I'm guessing this is the thing that came out of like the ground and you know, Millennium Falcon, an oven mitt. Okay, you know there's a good chance, even if you're a Star Wars fan, if the tags were on this and if you're at like your cousin's house, a friend's house and they broke this thing out to pull the pizza pan out of the oven, there's a good chance even Star Wars fans would be like, oh, what's, what's on your hand? Until they actually saw the Millennium Falcon, then they're like, oh, okay, but, okay. Oven mitt, not my cup of tea. Items from this box I don't keep for my own personal, like, you know, geeky collection. I'll sell it on my eBay store. By cheat sheet, yep. We don't see that yet. Okay, first soft, or I guess second soft item. This might be a blanket or something. It is a blanket. Should I actually unwrap this thing all the way? Or just wait to see? Oh, it says on it, it says Jedi Knights. The actual print on here, like the graphic, first time you wash this, this is going to come apart. The graphics on here are not the best quality graphics. It's kind of like an iron on, on this wool kind of material. Yeah, first time you wash this thing, this graphic's gonna start peeling off really bad. Heroes of, I think, Heroes of the Force, Jedi Knights. The cheat sheet will have like a bigger picture of it. I don't wanna unroll this thing because, uh, no reasons, I just don't want to. Is that okay? We'll see a picture of it. Let's see, what else is in here? Next soft item, or two items I pulled out. We have a pin, animal, Enamel pin, life day orb. Star Wars. I don't collect pins so far in this box. First three items, I won't keep anything from these first three items. I don't need an oven mitt. I don't need a uh, like a blanket that's going to just it's just going to fall apart. Not fall apart, but it's not going to last after the first washing. There we go. Next thing I pulled out. There's the tag. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Let's see what I got. That thing, just because it's going to be a pain in the butt to unroll it, roll it back up. And I'm just lazy. We have a kitchen towel. We have like home accessories in this box. What's it look like? Okay, so it's pretty much just like the, the front of this box for a kitchen towel. 
Okay. Okay. So first four things. Not too impressed with this box so far. Unless if you want to deck out your kitchen with an oven mitt and a kitchen towel and then throw the blanket on the back of your chair. Not too impressed with this box so far. Especially for the price I paid. Here we go. Next item. Is it a magnet? Yeah, we... We have some gingerbread magnets. I see Chewbacca. I can see a Yoda ear back here. That look kind of like R2. Kitchen magnets. Gingerbread. Kitchen magnets. This really is like, like the kitchen. The Star Wars Galaxy kitchen box. Refrigerator wrap magnets. Uh, oven mitt. Blanket or kitchen towel. Okay. Did, did they advertise this as like the kitchen box? Okay, we've got some of these things. I think we have one thing left. That's it. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess coffee mug or a like beer stein. It's a snow globe. Okay, I was off on that. So we went away from the kitchen theme for the last item. It is a Wampa Attack Snow Globe. Factory seal. I'm going to keep it sealed up. I'm not going to keep it. Um, so I'll sell this on eBay as like factory seal still. I'm going to keep it sealed up. You can see what it looks like right there with the Wampa Attack Globe with Luke and the Wampa. Okay. Let's see a cheat sheet. Here is the front of the cheat sheet or actually the back of it. Here's the front. Let me try to maybe zoom in take a screenshot or something let me zoom in on that blanket and actually it's not a blanket is it it's a jedi bathrobe oh okay it's a jedi bathrobe it's not a blanket i was wrong i apologize so we have kitchen and kind of like bathroom stuff then and a snow globe very odd but going back over everything make sure there was supposed to be an art print in here, an AT AT art print. Yeah, I just couldn't feel it. <laughs> this box, this unboxing has been an absolute disaster. AT AT art print. Okay, not bad. Anyway, back to the cheat sheet. That's why we check the cheat sheet because sometimes there might have been some left in the box. There's been a few times I've bought subscription boxes where it's missing items. It, it happens sometimes, but we got the. Exogorth oven mitt. That's probably like the worst thing in the box. No, nah, yeah. Tied between that and those gingerbread magnets. Nah. The kitchen towel. That's also kind of, eh. I mean, hey, if you're a hardware Star Wars fan, I mean, hardcore, and if your kitchen's all decked out, I mean, if your trash can is R2D2 and your paper towel holder is C3PO and your kitchen utensils, your forks and your spoons are in the shape of lightsabers. You need that kitchen towel. You need that oven mitt. You need that to complete your Star Wars kitchen atmosphere. You need that. I get it. I get it. ATAT -AT art print, Wampa Attack Globe, Life Day Orb enamel pin, and the Cookie Characters Magnet Set. It's C3PO, R2, Chewbacca, and Yoda. Gingerbread cookies. And the Jedi bathrobe. This was called the Winter 2022 home for life day star wars galaxy box so this one i say left me very underwhelmed some of these i buy them and i'm like you know that's, that's pretty good value i'd say this one this one's going to be pushing value for what i pay for this box this one really going to be pushing it i i if i sell everything honestly 20 30 i might be able to get like 40 dollars back so I won't be able to get all my money back that I paid for this box. So that's just my opinion, that's my review. That is my horrible review, my horrible unboxing, a mess of the video. We'll do it again in three months. See you then. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when we